That's not what I'm saying. Honestly, Jesse, we have been together for almost eight months now, and I just don't understand you. If you would just listen, maybe you would. Oh, look who's talking about listening. Mr. I never hear a word you're saying. Oh, that's really great, Carol. It's helping. Name calling? Well, I just get so frustrated with you. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what you're talking about half the time. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Excuse me, but I couldn't help overhearing you. Who are you? I'm your neighbor, Debbie, and I always hear you two arguing. What you need is a relationship interpreter. A relationship interpreter? Yeah. A relationship interpreter simply interprets what you're saying into your partner's language. But we're both speaking English. No, you're not. We're not? No. You're both speaking your own gender-based, individualized dialect of English. And that's why you don't understand each other. It sounds like a therapist. Wrong again. A therapist puts his or her own interpretation into what you're trying to communicate. A relationship interpreter actually does a direct translation into your own language. Just like at the UN. Exactly. But how does a relationship interpreter understand both our languages if they're only one gender? Mm -hmm. Well, many relationship interpreters are actually hermaphrodites. Or if they're male, highly in touch with their female side. And if they're female, highly in touch with their male side. Or they're French. Sounds fabulous, but where can we find one? Well, it just so happens that my husband and I were having tea and scones with one when we heard you arguing. Really? We worked with him many years ago, so we now understand each other. Would you like him to come in? Yeah, sounds great. Let me get him. Arvin! Could you come in here, please? Is he a hermaphrodite? No, he's French. Bonjour! I'm Raphaël Darcet, a relationship interpreter. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hi, I'm Carol. <laughs> and I'm Jesse. I know what you're saying. All right, may I take a seat? Uh, please. Well, I'll just leave the three of you to get to work. Thanks, Deb. Yeah, thanks. Merci. Okay. Carol and Jesse, here is how it works. You will speak to each other as though I am not here. And then, when one of you stops talking, I will interpret it to your partner. Comprends? Huh? I'm sorry, I forgot. You don't speak French. Understand? Oui. I like you. <laughs> All right. Jesse, you stop. Okay, Carol, I just want you to understand that I'm doing the best that I can. I'm lazy and I want you to accept my excuses. I need someone that I can count on to make smart decisions for the long term. I need more money, and you need to give it to me. If I'm going to be the man I'm capable of being, I need you to support me and make me feel strong. I need sex all the time. Well, I'd give you sex more often if I felt like this relationship was actually going somewhere. Grow up, Peter Pan. Otherwise, I'm going to take Paul from the office up on his offer to go away for the weekend and give him all the sex you've been wanting. What? Who is this Paul? I've never heard you talk about him before. No, I'm sure you've mentioned him hundreds of times. But whenever you speak, all I can do is think about what you look like naked and when we can have sex again. There is so much more to me than the physical. I need to be appreciated for my mind and my spirit as well. Do I look fat in these jeans? No. A little. I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a part of me, Jess, that really loves you and would love to marry you. But ultimately, I don't know if I can trust you in a long-term commitment. I need much, much, much more money from you. I want you to love me for me, not for how much money I make. God, I want to have sex with you right now. I want to throw you down on the ground and degrade you in ways that only lovers know. And then I want to get the Frenchman to film the whole thing so we can put it up on the internet and start charging people. And then we can make some serious cash. That's disgusting. Now you're talking. I love you, Carol. So how much money do I need to be making before we can have sex daily? At least six figures. And I love you, Jesse. Oh, Carol, I'm so sorry for being such a lazy idiot. How about the upper fives? No. Not a chance.